Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Tiana and welcome, welcome if you're joining me for the first time. And if you're not, welcome back peeps. And if you don't wanna miss out on A Maniology Live, make sure you click the notification bell that lets you know when we go live so you can join in the conversation instantly. So today, I wanted to show you how you can achieve rainbow manicures that looks like this. And um, yeah, I think it's really fitting for, you know, spring and summer where that's usually like bright color, month, you know, season. So um, today I'm going to show you how you can achieve this with this plate. So if you're not familiar with this plate, this is M052. This is Pardon my French plate, which as you can see, this was designed for French manicures. Um, and today I'm going to be using this design. A lot of people always ask like, how do you use this? And so I'm so glad I'll be able to show you that today. So this right here is um, a vertical gradient. And um, I think this is something that would really look cute for the season. And this color palette is all schools out. So if you don't have this collection, I'll show it to you right now before I get started. So I used, this is Slam Book, which is a bright pink, neon pink. I also have this, this is a uh, Summer Fun. This is like a, a neon orange. Then I have Pencils Down, which is this bright yellow. Food Fight this bright green, got blue glue, and the last color is Class Clown. So if you have this collection, then you can definitely try this technique out. So I have this palette and that was my initial plan, but then I was thinking, oh, I can do like a, a pastel and um, yeah, I think it's really fitting. So. Um, today for the pastels. I'm gonna use rose quartz. It's a soft pink. Then I have also a flash dance, which is kind of like a neon-y orange, but it's really soft and kind of like a pastel. I have buttercup for this really soft yellow. Soft sage, kind of self-explanatory, really soft green. Um, have doll dance here. This beautiful soft blue and then last I have lilac mist okay so just so you know the technique the vertical gradient technique is exactly the same no matter what um, no matter what colors you use so let's go ahead and get started with that so I'm using rose quartz and flash dance first for my first color go ahead and get started with that. So I'm using Rose Quartz and Flash Dance first for my first color. And don't worry if you're overlapping the color, that's exactly what you want to happen, okay? So I like to kind of glob, glob it on there. And this is the reason why, is because I want it to be soft enough so I can kind of blend it. And then we're gonna pick up the design. To be fair, I think that's a little too straight of a line. I would have preferred it to be a little bit more smooshed like I said, I will definitely be re-stamping over the nail, so no problem. I will show you guys that in just a moment. Another thing too, this is dry, like already. So that means we can do this process over again. So gob on that pink. Just wet enough so you can kind of help to blend the colors again. Okay, nice almost a flatter angle so you're not digging out polish from this design and there you go if it takes you a little bit don't worry you know we all have our preferences okay I'll have to blend that one but That's what it looks like so far. Let me clean this up over here. Okay. 
Okay, the goal here is I really want the colors to kind of mold together instead of having like such a straight line. But okay, that looks better for sure. Okay, so let's start with the next one. Let's go ahead and clean off our plate. As you can see, I stamped this baby three times, right? So, you know, everybody has their own personal preference. I'm definitely happier with this one than I was with the first one. Like I said, it had like a really, really harsh line. So let's do now the flash dance and buttercup, which is our yellow. Okay, so soft scrapes. Make sure you're not digging polish out. <laughs> better. This is for sure better. Okay. Of course, if you were doing this on your natural nail that you would put a base coat, um, but since I'm doing these on tips, I'm not. So I'm just showing you the technique and not necessarily the nail care part. So, so far, that's what the nails look like. <laughs> so as you can see, this technique definitely requires a lot of acetone cleaning, but that's okay. I still think it's simpler than probably doing the sponge. But to each their own. So I'm just gonna cap that. So now I am using soft sage, which is the green and buttercup. This is going to be really light. Okay, let's do that again. You know, if you've been doing it one way, that's completely fine. Nothing is wrong with that. But I just wanted to show you how you can use that particular square here. So say for instance, even if you, um, you remember in my last video, I was showing you guys how to do bases. If you wanted to do like a smudge cure kind of thing and do stamping, um, you could also do that. So say, for instance, you wanted to put, you know, um, spots of color all in this uh, rectangle here and scrape it the way that I'm doing it and just kind of blend it um, or just do a, you know, a smudge or cure, however you want to do it. You can actually use this rectangle in many different ways. So I was asked if I can do a version where um, I'm going to say it's a horizontal uh, gradient. 
So I'll, let me just, I'll put green up top. And I'll do the blue on the bottom like that. Okay. Okay. So a soft scrape. And there you go. So. so keep in mind, I just did this with two colors, you know, but you could do this with as many colors as you want. So, I mean, technically, if you wanted to do like a full rainbow spectrum on one nail, you would have to do very thin lines, but you could manage it. <laughs> so, um, and again, you would, you could achieve that same technique using a sponge too. So in this case, if it was yellow and orange, you would just achieve the same thing here and just stipple that onto the nail. If it was, you know, this is for the horizontal. If you wanted to do a vertical, then you just change the direction and stipple it onto the nail that way so that your, um, your design would come out vertical like how I'm doing here. So if you're joining for the first time, I'm just gonna say this again. Please go ahead and um, hit that notification bell so you know when we're going live. If you don't wanna miss the techniques or what we're talking about or anything like that, hit the bell. Okay, so brain fart, what was I doing? I'm doing the vertical version, okay. Let's get it together, T. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the green here and the blue here. I'm sorry, the blue is Doll's Dance, so Soft Sage and Doll's Dance. Okay. There you go. I think I might try again. <laughs> I want a softer line. So let's try that again. Eh, this time maybe I won't clean the plate. Let's see what happens when Tiana decides to be lazy and not clean the plate, huh? <laughs> okay. Again, soft scrape. So, so far, that's what I got. And then the last one, I am going to do Dolls Dance and Lilac Clouds. So now we definitely need to clean this plate because we don't want those colors mixing here. See, you see how handy this pineapple cotton grabber is? If you have this, give me some hearts. Cause I can't live without this thing, especially when you've already done nails and you already worked on it and you don't want to, you know, you still have to clean the plate. This thing is just so awesome. Products that Tiana absolutely, absolutely needs is a pineapple, cotton claw, and the sticky stamper station. If you're stamping, you need one of these. So, so important. Okay, and back to our regular scheduled programming. But if you had to ask me, those are definitely my, my tops. And your smudge free top coat, of course. You can't, can't live a stamping life if you don't have that. At the end, I'm gonna show you guys both and then you can compare and vote which color selection you like best. Although the pastels are cute, I think I like the 
the brights better just looking at it. But I'm glad I did this. Totally glad I did this because I get to see how it turns out. I think it's a different mood too. Right? Maybe sometimes you're not into the bright colors. Maybe you want something softer. I'm gonna stamp this baby one more time. Okay. Yeah, I think they do carry this at Walmart too, so. Okay. So this is what it came out to, guys. What do you think? Okay, wait, let me move that and then let me set up the other. Brights here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me some hearts for the top one or give me some thumbs up for the pastels. Which one do you guys think? I love them both though. Like I said, it's a mood, it's a vibe. So it depends on what you're going for. I won't lie, I think I'm seeing more for the brights. So, but I'm glad I did both so you guys can see both. And, um, you know, of course you can either rock your manicure like this or you can stamp over it. You could even put a really, really cute, like a flaky top coat over it if you wanna add some pizzazz um, to this. I was thinking about that, but I just really wanted to show you guys the technique and how I used um, plate M052 here because we always get questions and this little nifty you know, design is just, you can do so much with it. So, um, yeah, let me see if I have some questions. I know a lot of people have been asking about colors, so I would be happy to go over them again, just for people who maybe didn't catch it in the beginning or you kind of came in the middle. So the brights here, that is actually one whole collection that we have available and that is schools out. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the color names and all that kind of stuff because you can go ahead and get this in a collection called schools out. Okay. Um, now the pastel colors that I use were all individual colors that are currently available on the um, maniology.com website. So if you want to go take a look, go for it. Um, so I will go ahead and name these off for you. So the pink that I use, it is Rose Quartz. I use the orange is Flash Dance. And the yellow is Buttercup. Okay. And then for green, I use Soft Sage. For blue, Doll Dance. And for purple, I use Lilac Mist. I think I said lilac clouds earlier. Sorry guys, lilac mist. And I will finish this with a smudge free top coat. Let me go ahead and show you how I do that. And don't worry if you don't have these colors. If you have something already that you, know, you could recreate, then do that. Or you can actually pick your own you know, rainbow, rainbow colors. No problem there, but I'm just showing you guys, of course, what I use today. And you know, using the stamping um, polishes, it's just, it's more opaque, right? So you don't have to worry about the base and all that kind of stuff. I just did a lot of stamping over just because I wasn't happy with, you know, the way that that line came out because I wanted it more blended, but that's just me. <laughs> so I'm just using the smudge free top coat and there you go so it looks nice shiny blended if you want to go ahead and put a matte top coat over this you totally could that would actually look really cool if you have a special 
um, kind of flaky top coat or something that has a little bit of sparkle, that would be a really good idea too. Um, either way, go ahead and be creative. Try this out. Definitely tag us. I would love to see. Um, and I hope you guys just share your creations. So if that's it, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be nice. Be kind to each other. Bye.